Hi guys, like many of us know, apps like Zoom have become absolutely essential to maintain face-to-face -face contact with our customers. In this short video, I'm gonna show you how to transform your Zoom appearance from something like this into something professional like this. But firstly, let me go into some strong reasons why apps like Skype or Zoom are much better than using the telephone with your customers. When the customer can actually see your face, you can sell 10 times better than over the phone. And it's actually 38 times more successful than marketing by email. Face-to-face -face conversations are like 3D listening. Yes, you can tell what someone's saying, but you can also read their body language and expressions. Zoom chats can include more than one person at a time. So if Mrs. is in work and husband is at home, you can talk to both of them at the same time and gauge both of their reactions. This is vitally important in a sales role where more often than not, both partners make decisions. Zoom meetings also allow the customer to see you, to internalize the fact that you're a real human being with a family, friends, a mortgage, and not just some faceless, disembodied voice trying to sell them insurance. So here are four quick and easy tips that anybody can apply in just seconds. Firstly, always have your light source in front of you. I'm sitting in front uh, of a window on a sunny day, so they're perfect conditions. If you haven't got these conditions, then a nice, cheap and cheerful bedside lamp with an 8-watt bulb in there right in front of your laptop or your phone will cause perfect conditions too. You don't need to buy a light drink from Amazon or whatever, although you can. A lamp is what I've been using all through the winter. Whatever you do, please don't have the window or the light behind you. It looks terrible and I see this all the time. Next up, let's change those Zoom settings. So, on the Zoom welcome screen, you go into settings in the top right-hand corner. Here there are a multitude of choices and options. You'll need hardly any of them. So this is a quick two-minute guide on how to really improve your appearance. The good thing about this is, as well, is once you set the settings once, you don't need to do this any more times. So you do this once and you're good to go for every time you use Zoom. Okay, let's get going to video. Here you can see me on the screen here. Um, first of all, we have touch up my appearance. Now this is gold, if, especially if you've if had a, a heavy night the night before. Uh, be careful with the controls. It takes away all the uh, roughness uh, and wrinkles in your skin, but you can look a bit plastic if it's up too high. I guess depends on the night you've had. And then adjust for low light. So you can see that makes a significant difference. I've got it on, on a manual setting. There's an auto version of it. You're really fine with the auto version. Why complicate the issue? Next, we go back over to the left-hand side and you can look at uh, the background filters just there. It comes with some fun background filters. None of them are any good for our professional appearance, but you can go uh, onto Google, type in, free professional backgrounds for Zoom or Skype, and you'll get a, a, a plethora of choices there, all free of charge. Here, I've customized my one. So if we do this, you'll now see that suddenly, um, I am now look better, I'm, I'm lighter and brighter, and I've got my own branded background. And that, in a few simple steps, is how you can dramatically improve your professionalism on Zoom and hopefully help you be more appealing to the customers and get more business.